hi, how are you? I hope you're good. Welcome to my August TBR, the TBR in which I have seven books that I somehow think I'm going to read. Um, it may, it's probably because last month I read seven books and I somehow think that I could just keep that going and maybe even read more. Will that happen? I really hope so. So I already finished one book this month um, on my TBR so hooray for me and that was Grayson by Lynn Cox. This was a uh, disappointing read overall. It's about a encounter between a young teenage girl and a whale, so I was excited for it. Uh, you'll hear my thoughts later, but I already read that, so that's great. Um, some rollover books that I didn't get to last month because I fail and because I started reading a lot of library books, uh, Libriomancer by D -D -D Jim C. Hines. Focus, 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 no, maybe not. Hello, focus. It doesn't want to. There we go, it's focused. This is one that I really want to get to because I've heard uh, really good things about it. It's about this uh, this kid that can pull objects out of books. So it's a fantasy, that's all I know. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. This cover it looks ridiculous, but I'm excited nonetheless. And then the other one that I really, really, really want to read is Black Sunday by Thomas Harris, who wrote Silence of the Lambs. So I really, really want to read Black Sunday because this is Thomas's Harris, Thomas Harris's first book I believe and I think this is about some sort of like assassination attempt on the president that's all I know I don't want to know anymore because I don't know his books are just so consuming so I'm hoping it's good but we'll see um after that I would like to read uh this is really random but Carav Car Caraval Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Um, I saw this one all over booktube for a while. Everyone was talking about it. I don't know if it's good. Um, it could be bad for all I know, but it was gifted to me. Someone gave me the entire series. I think there's three books, right? So someone gave me this one, Final and Legendary. So I have all three. So there's no reason why I shouldn't read them. And they keep asking me about it. So I feel like I really need to read it now because it was a gift and I feel guilty, but I'm hoping it's good. I think it's about maybe a carnival? I don't know. I'm gonna go into this blindly. If you have read it, let me know. Um, moving on, I got some more library books because I feel like if I'm reading library books and I will definitely get through them because, you know, they're library books. Even though I attempted at reading The Stand by Stephen King, I got about 800 pages into it and then I just returned it guys I didn't complete the book because I just I didn't want to read it anymore I just couldn't bring myself to read it any someday someday I will check it out again and read it maybe but it was just dragging on and on and on and on so the first book that I got from the library is The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson now if you uh watched my reading vlogs you will know that I read Truly Devious and it was so a Addicting. So I really really wanted to read the second book and I looked at the library and lo and behold It was right there and I was so excited to see it. So I'm so excited for this uh, for those that don't know This is basically a young adult um story that takes place at a boarding school, a elusive boarding school that has a kind of a dark past. There was a murder and now we have our main character Stevie who is going to this school and she's sort of studying criminology you could say, that's her expertise, and she's trying to solve this old case while something else happens in the present. So there's a lot of things going on. It's really uh, interesting and, and just so, I don't know, it's just a very consuming read. It's just, you can't put it down. Once you pick it up you do not want to put it down so I'm so excited to have the second book and I think honestly I was about to start Caraval next but I'm probably gonna start The Vanishing Stair because I got this book today so I'm so excited um, the next book that I have from the library is Sapphire Blue by Kristen Gear. also if you watched my reading vlog you will know that I read Ruby Red which I thought was really fun it was a time travel book and I mean it was a bit cliche not the greatest but um, it was entertaining enough to where I wanted to read the second book there I think there's only three so I'm gonna read this and then I'll probably next week or in a couple weeks read the last book um, I'm hoping it's entertaining because I like time travel so any sort of books involving time travel I'm probably going to read them the last book I have um, that I found at the library today I was so excited because I had heard really um, I heard good things but I've also read some mixed reviews as well but that is 
Bone Music by Christopher Rice. For those that don't know, Christopher Rice, I believe, is the son of Anne Rice. So, and Anne Rice wrote Interview with the Vampire. And I mean, it's not my favorite book, but I adore the movie so much. So, um, I just really want to give this one a go. I think it's more of a mystery thriller, borderline horror. Um, I don't know too much, um, but the inside flaps is what happens when a woman becomes a weapon. Um, and that's all I know. So I kind of want to go into this blindly. And uh, yeah, those are the books that I plan to read in August. I hope I read more. I would love to know what you plan to read this month. If you read any of these, let me know your thoughts and opinions, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go and I'm going to go make some tea and I'm going to go read and just read all the books. That's, that's the plan, Stan. What am I saying? I've been up for too long today. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye.